Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. EA finally brought back an SBC that we've been waiting on now for over a week, and it's making something possible in this game that has never been done before in FIFA history. So we have to talk about that. There's more SBCs to crap with the Harry Kane that was dropped yesterday as well at EA. We really need another 99 footies SBC today in the name of Lionel Messi. We got the Ronaldo. We talked about it yesterday. Today needs to be Messi day. It needs to be. So we're going to talk a lot about that and more in today's video. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Also, be on the watch out for today for a double upload. We got to start talking EAFC. We mentioned in yesterday's video, we are going to get involved with that today. So watch out for that. But without further ado, let's look at yesterday's content. There was no Messi just yet. We were talking about it again yesterday. That's a big SBC that I'm looking forward to. And I think is very possible to be seen here very soon in this game. We did get a 99 rated player SBC though. And it's for Harry Kane. Let's be honest, guys. This is the best Harry Kane we have ever seen. I don't like there's a 93 rated squad inside of it but it's only 10 sections and it's a five star five star transfer harry kane and uh man don't write this sbc off right away i'll say that i know it's a great 99 to get done and a lot of people are going to craft it for free anyway just because 85 times 10 you could also make an argument that he's maybe better than holland with the passing boost that kane has the more in-game stats over the footies holland that's also a 99 of course but i'll leave that to you to decide hey guys are we forgetting how overpowered the team of the season harry Kane card was. I mean, that guy still is usable in this stage of the game. I can't imagine how good this card's going to be in game as well. So that's definitely a craft for me. Hits home as a Spurs fan, of course, with the transfer makes me a little bit sad, but I'm still a Harry Kane fan for life. Coming in at 800k, 900,000 coins is not really about the price. It is just about the card. But guys, we all know how good this one was. The only problem with this new one is the 99 rated version. Since he got such a big dribbling boost, we're going all the way from 75 agility and 70 98 balance to 94 agility and 95 balance he is no longer lengthy so uh, he does have the amazing traits he's got the outside the foot shot trait he's got leadership he's got playmaker long passer flare trait and 99s everywhere throughout the card but he's no longer lengthy so i'm sure it's going to make him play a little bit different in game but a five star five star harry kane come on man let me do some um i don't even some five star skill moves with Harry Kane, that would be an absolute blast. So that one hits home for me, but it's a good one to craft there. And then also yesterday, we had a big SBC that is changing FIFA, guys. Level up player pick. This is the one, if you remember, back to last weekend. Yeah, a long time ago, we had this tweet. August 22nd, 27th, August 27th, EA tweeted out, after they initially released the level up player pick, it contained incorrect rewards, right? This was the player pick that was giving out the non-upgraded versions. EA took it away after an hour and said, impacted players will be sent a new player pick in the coming days. And again, when we saw this, we looked at this tweet and we knew right away the coming days. It's never days, guys, right? It's over a week now. I mean, August 27th, it's, you know, September 10th today, September 9th, yesterday when this was, this was dropped. Plenty of days in between there. That was over a week for sure, almost two weeks. But Regardless, I don't know if they've actually done compensation if you did the player pick right away. Uh, maybe let me know down in the comments. I was not on. I did not do the player pick when it first dropped. Uh, but the fact that it's back in the game is actually making something possible that has never been possible in FIFA before, guys. This is the W player pick to grind. Just kind of like the other player picks and all the other SBCs that are out right now. It's an 88 rated squad with a team in the season. Really, really easy to do with 85 times 10. But there's one player in particular for a specific reason that a lot of people are chasing from this SBC and it is 99 Kevin De Bruyne and I saw this tweet from just Loki on Twitter um this is what is possible right now in this game and this SBC gives out a KDB level up card which a lot of people are hunting for because they're trying to complete a 99 rated squad and with this KDB you can get 99 rating and then also with the Erling Holland and the other Premier League players that have been released in the defensive uh, attacking positions you can also get a 99 rated squad on full chemistry now the more 99 rated players that EA drop the easier this is to complete but of course with those Premier League links that KDB card is the one that a lot of people are going after because remember when this card was actually out via objectives anyway how many people had the coins um, and the time to go and grind all of the games for the KDB to get the card and now you can get this card for just spamming the level up player pick and to be completely honest 
it doesn't seem like the weight on this player pick is actually that bad. Now, I'm going to do some more of these in the next couple of days just to try them out for fun. It's unlimited repeatable, which is a huge dub, but you've got plenty of good cards that are in this. You've got the Goretzka 98. You've got the Varane 97. You can even make a shout for Timo Werner, uh, Chalmeni, if you want to go ahead and get some of those guys. The Alfonso Davies is one a level up upgraded card that's still not a bad item, even though it's not a footies or a super duper 99 rated boosted card, but it's still a good card. And uh, all right, I've got two duplicates there. I'm going to open an 85 times 10 and maybe go craft one of those player picks right now. But that player pick is making the 99 rated squad possible because the 99 rated squad has been possible for like three or four days or something like that in this game. But KDB is the one for a lot of people that they were not able to get to get that rating up as we pack an Nkunku right now. 95, not too shabby. Um... But that KDB is the one that a lot of people are hunting so that they can go ahead and get a 99 rated squad. So that's something you're crafting after and going for right now. That is a W to have that player pick out. And if you just want KDB um, to make it look like you did 30 games of KDB um, when it was out originally and confuse people when you go and match up against them in like rivals or foot champs, then hey, you can go try to get that KDB or that Varane or the Goretzka or whoever you're chasing from that player pick. So it's cheap. Go out there, give it a shot. It's kind of like the 94 plus. You give it a shot, you're trying to hunt just the cream of the crop type players. Um, but you can probably hit them after a few player picks. It's not that bad. Um, and guys, I want to show you something that's crazy. With all the pack grime, just to kind of look at something that's actually market related for a second, since everybody's grinding those player picks, the 85 times 10s on repeat, I was just checking on gold cards. And I was like, how much are gold cards right now? All gold cards in this game are 600 coins, 550 to 600 for golds. And then even bronzes and silvers, I think are like 350 a piece, which is definitely inflated. The reason I think why these are up, especially the golds and maybe even the bronzes and silvers is, and I take my club as an example of this. My club is so dry right now, except for stuff that is 85 rated and above. As I'm doing these 85 times 10 upgrade SBCs, I'm rinsing the special cards into them. Um, but then I'm also finishing off the squads with like silver players and I'm running out of golds. I think the fact that we are seeing those prices go up on the market is just a testament to how many people are grinding this game right now and how easily attainable high rated fodder is. Like these team of the season cards that I'm packing from 85 times 10s, right? You all, you guys all know we're getting crazy amounts of high rated fodder. And then what are we doing to fill out the rest of our squads? You're going and buying like, you know, gold cards off the market, the cheapest ones you can find because your rating is already super crazy high anyway. Um, and you don't need a lot of rating to help finish off the squad. Like right here, how am I not at 88 rated? Okay, well, it's because I have one player missing, but like I got an 89 rated squad. Now I'm going back into the club trying to figure out how I can make it lower rated. And I've got 286s to do it, but I think that's the reason why some of those cards are up right now uh, on the market as well. I did want to take a quick peek at uh, SBC fodder actually. Um, not because we're trying to trade with it or make coins off of it at all or anything right now, but because SBC fodder is actually going up a little bit. Um, I think some of the 97s are going up because with the Harry Kane, with the Ronaldo, and maybe even with a Messi that is upcoming, we have got high rated squads, 92, 93 rated squads that are like everywhere inside of these requirements. So you're seeing some of these 97 rated uh, KDB's like 27,000 coins, 28,000 coins. These guys fluctuate a good bit. Um, he was down yesterday at 24K. Now he's up at 28,000 coins. So if you're watching fodder, whenever you see 97s, like old block at 21, I think it's a really good price. Just uh, maybe go pick one or two up. It'll make your life a little easier if you have to buy a couple players for a 93 rated squad. Now let's do one of these level up upgrades. If we had KDB first one, that'd be insane. 96 Shalhanoglu, which I did his objective when he first came out. And then one of the three dynamic image versions of Jimenez. I'm going to take Shalhanoglu for the fodder uh, because we're going to keep chasing KDB. I'd love to trap that KDB card, of course, and get that squad rating up. And Shalhanoglu will work out for the Serie A team that I need to use for the um, join the club objectives, which I'm still working on. I'm not finished week one. I got to finish week one and two by this Friday, guys. I'll make sure to get this one done. I'm going to stress it every single day. We do a FIFA 23 video this week. Make sure you do the join the club to objective because an 82 times 10 is insane. But we talked about that yesterday. You know about it. Let's talk about today just one more time. EA, we can't mess about anymore, all right? We need this messy SBC because if you wait any longer to release a 99 Messi, it's going to become irrelevant. The Ronaldo with 42 squads is crazy enough of a grind at this stage anyway. A lot of people are grinding it and getting it done. GG's if that's you. It gives you a little bit of motivation, right? Also, for some people, it's like, no way. I ain't touching that. And that's kind of where I'm at with that. But 
if we're getting a Messi, even if we're getting a Neymar, we need that really soon, EA, because we're getting every single day closer and closer. Guys, we're within like 10 days of really getting into FC24, potentially with the web app dropping in 10 days from today. The 20th is a potential date. It's not known for sure yet, but a potential date where we would see the web app. We need a 99 Messi today. It's got to be today or tomorrow, realistically. So I hope that that's today. I do think a player SBC is very, very possible, whether we get a, um, a different footies player, whether we do get a Messi or another transfer SBC. Watch out for a player SBC today. I think we had Odegaard last week. Um, he No, Odegaard's not expiring. Kim and Jay is expiring today. He might have been last week. And then also today, we don't have any icon player picks at the moment. They expired yesterday. Would not be surprised if a 93 plus icon player pick came back just because it's another SBC that EA can put out that I'm sure a decent amount of people would like to go out and try to get if they're trying to hit any of those top tier icons from like shapeshifters or maybe trophy titans r9 if you're trying to hit one of those um that maybe is an sbc that's going to be coming back out today as well but really it's all about messy so that's what i'm going to leave you with uh today guys in the video i have too many duplicates here i can't just sit here on a video and craft and craft and craft because um i think i would run out of things to talk about if i'm being completely honest and what i'm going to save those things to talk about for is the video that's going to be coming out in a few hours about eafc 24 we're going to look at some big time news in terms of ratings for some special cards that are coming out in the early stages of fc24 so if you enjoyed the video today drop a thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and of course subscribe if you're new see you guys in another video today it's been nate foot and count and catch you guys there peace